Hey guys, it's Whitney here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. And Happy New Year. Um, I don't know if this will be the first video of the new year, but it'll be somewhere down the line of some of my first videos of 2019. I hope you guys had a great new year. Today in this video, I'm going to be doing my what's in my baby's hospital bag slash diaper bag. Oh, I'm out of breath. So I am 37 weeks pregnant, probably right after this in the same outfit. I'll be filming my last pregnancy update. So if you see me looking exactly the same, it's because I filmed it right after this. You guys are getting a huge sneak peek of the nursery. I will be doing a full nursery tour, but you guys are basically seeing it all right here. <laughs> I didn't want that to happen, but this is my favorite bedroom to film in. So you guys are just gonna get a sneak peek. Um, but I will be doing a full nursery tour here soon. It is it's basically completely finished. Um, I did a review on this. This is the Erin Williams collab with Itsy Ritzy diaper bag. This is a diaper bag we will be using for our baby girl. Ignore my hair. It is doing something funky right here today. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I will be taking this to the hospital with me and for her. And um, I will also be using it as her forever diaper bag. So most of the stuff in here will be staying after the hospital. It's not just for the hospital. You guys are seeing like what I'm gonna keep in the diaper bag plus the hospital. Um, a few things in there that were for the hospital. How many times did I just say hospital? I don't know. Um, and not, obviously I'm a new mom and I don't have like formula in here or anything like that yet. So there will be stuff added later on, just a few things like formula and my formula dispenser I'll add in here later. So I guess we'll just start with kind of the front little thing here and then these pockets as well as this little thing. So the first thing I have is this in this little macaroon pouch. This is actually a pacifier holder. So, ooh, it kind of got smashed. So I have a little pacifier in here. It's like the little gummy gumdrop ones. It kind of got smashed, but that's all right. Um, I'm just gonna bring one pacifier to the hospital. Hopefully it doesn't get ruined being in this little pouch, but I am going to bring one of those and I'm just keeping it in this little macaroon pockets. The first one, I just have a few things in here. Um, so I just have like a pack of tissues for me, pretty much or whatever just whenever needed. And I also have a little thing of hand sanitizer in here for me, obviously. And then the next little pouch, I don't have nothing in there yet. So obviously as she gets older, I'll put like a teether in here. I don't have one of those. Maybe like some toys in here. I don't have any of those in here cause she's gonna be a newborn. So this is just like a newborn diaper bag edition. I'll probably refilm one of these um, in the future whenever it completely changes. I'll refilm a what's in my diaper bag. But this is also her hospital bag. So then in this little open pouch right here, ow, I just have a receiving blanket. Um, I already washed everything, so I just put that in the front so it's easy to get to if needed. Okay, so I'm not going to hold this bag the whole time. I just want to show you guys what's in it and what pockets I'm looking at. So now we're going to open the big, huge pocket. Oh, and I forgot on the sides. So in this side, the zipper pocket, I don't have anything in there yet, I don't think. Um, and then I do have a little Dr. Brown's bottle on this side. Obviously, I don't know if she's even gonna like these, but these are the ones that I hope she'll like and I hope she'll use. So I just put one in the side um, just in case I need it. And then, We'll help you open this. This is what it looks like in here. It's really big and open. We have some front pouches here, which um, I just have diapers in. So these two zipper pouches, it's hard to show you. I just have newborn diapers. Um, she's measuring a big baby, which I'm gonna talk about in my update. So I don't even know if she'll be able to wear newborn diapers very long, but I only have a few. So I just put the ones I had in here. I know the hospital gives you diapers, I think. So I just, Put the few, I have like some huggies and some pampers, so I just put them in the front pockets to have them. And I have several different pockets, you guys, so I guess we'll get started with everything. Okay, so.
so for her clothes um obviously i don't know what she's gonna need and what she's not gonna need i've never had a child um i do know the hospital i'm delivering at they make the baby wear a onesie that says the hospital's name like all the time they're there it's just like a safety thing so she'll pretty much be in that onesie the whole time i might put some of these clothes over it but she'll have that onesie the whole time i do have her coming home outfit in here which i will show you um but besides that i packed this cute onesie this is a newborn onesie i don't even know if she'll be able to fit it it's just like a zip up sleeper it's really cute sorry about my nails but it's really cute and it has little feet i thought this would be really good for her to wear at the hospital something simple I might not even need this, but just in case. And then I have this little outfit. This is zero to three months. Just in case she's bigger, I brought a newborn and a zero to three month. Just in case, because like I said, I've been told she's a big baby. So here's the pants. It's just white with pink polka dots and it has little feet. And then it goes with this little long sleeve shirt that zips across their body and it has an elephant and it does have like the little mitts on it as well and then that outfit in the top pocket i put the hat it comes with it actually came with this hat now i don't even know if she'll be able to fit this because they said her head which i'm going to talk about is really big so this might not even fit her but I'm bringing it just in case to go with that outfit in case it does fit her. So before I show you the coming home outfit, I'm going to show you what's up here because it kind of goes with the outfits. So I also have this hat that I brought. And it's just a pink hat with white polka dots and a bow on it. Obviously, like I said, I don't even know if this looks really small. I don't know if it'll fit her or not but i'm bringing it just in case and it matches the sleeper and it matches the outfit so brought two hats for her going home outfit i got this off of a website i think it was called ow cassidy's closet or something it was custom made online but here it is it's a really cute gown so i'm pretty positive it's going to fit her it's one of those really long gowns and it says her name princess it's so cute, look at it. I love it so much and it has the little mittens that go over their hands. And I'm pretty positive this will fit her no matter what size she is because it's really long. So I have that and it did come with a matching bow. So here's the bow that it came with. It just has gold sequins and then like a pink little thing. So I have these in here to go together. Hopefully she'll be able to fit the bow. She does have a big head, so I'm sure she will. This is her coming home outfit. The others are just ones for her to wear at the hospital and maybe take cute pictures in. This one will be her coming home though. And I also put in the little pockets, extra bows. I'm extra, I know. Um, I put in this white flower bow. Just in case I wanted to dress up her other outfits to take pictures with, I thought this one would match either outfit or this light pink one would match either outfit. Kind of extra, but I want her to like always have bows or hats or something on because I think they're so cute. So I did pack those and just different outfits, mainly for pictures is what all this is for, is mainly for pictures to post of her when she's born. Okay, so that was all the, the, the bows and the hats I put back here. Um, so now we're gonna get into these. I'm not gonna hold this up anymore. And the outfits were down here if you're wondering. And then I have a few side pockets. And then that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot in here. So in this top left side pouch, I'm bringing two pairs of socks. Um, these are just white ones. If you can see, focus with polka dots. And then these are really cute and they have little faces on them. She might not need them because a lot of these outfits cover her feet, but I got, I'm, I'm going to be keeping these in the diaper bag anyways, even if she doesn't use them in the hospital, I'll still have them in the diaper bag at all times. 
On the other side pouch, I just have a little comb. This is like a safety first comb. Obviously, I don't know if she'll have hair or not, but just in case I wanted to like comb her hair and put the bow in, I'm gonna keep that in here. I have so few empty pockets that I'll probably add stuff to later. Like I said, I am a new mom. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna need. So I have a big pouch right here and I just have a bandana bib in it with some cute characters on it. <clears throat> and then I also have another bib. And I try to get ones that would match like any outfit. This one says dream big. That way if we're out somewhere and I forget to bring a bib and I think she needs one or something, then I'll have one in the bag. Okay, I also have some boogie wipes. I got these for my baby shower, so I just threw those in here. And that is all for that pocket. Okay. The next pocket, I packed three different sample packs of wipes. Now obviously I don't know what wipes are gonna work the best, but I got these sample packs and I, want, I didn't want them to go to waste. So for now I packed them and once I figure out which ones I like the best, I'll keep the big bags in here. So I just have the seventh generation free and clear wipes. I have some Pampers sensitive wipes and then I have some water wipes. So I'm probably just gonna be using these for different things for her until I find the ones I want to use and then I'll just pack a big pack in there. Next I have this little like travel kit in this little bag and we just have some um, Destin diaper rash cream. We have some travel bedtime lotion so if like she's spending the night somewhere or we're going somewhere on a trip or somewhere or maybe we're out late and she needs some lotion or something um this will be nice to have then we have some johnson hands and face wipes i think these will be really handy and the last thing in here is some johnson shampoo and body wash just in case we're on the go and we need something like that. We have all that in here. And you guys, that's pretty much all that is in her hospital slash diaper bag. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!